What's up guys, so today I'm going to do a review of the MP215 kit for the Ford Fiesta ST. Alright, so the hardware that you get with the kit consists mainly of a replacement air intake, which consists of aluminium air box, cold air feed, and a high flow air filter. Okay, so it's a pretty modest hardware upgrade. It's fairly simple to install and it is quite a good upgrade as well because of that increased airflow, lower charge air temperatures, so thumbs up. The only negative that I would give it is that visually it could have been a bit more exciting. Um, if you, whenever you're in here and you look, you can of course you can see the aluminium air box, which itself looks pretty cool, but you have to use the stock airbox cover which is just black plastic so I think it would have been cool if they could have made the whole thing made a, made a, a lid for you out of aluminium as well it would have made the whole thing pop a little more but I suppose that, that doesn't really matter it doesn't affect performance performance which of course is good with that increased airflow and cold charge air temperatures I know that other options out there um, do replace the lid as well um, such as the Intech option that you can get from Mishimoto. It replaces the whole thing in one in one go, which is pretty cool. Um, but at the end of the day, this performs well, so it doesn't really matter that much. An added benefit of changing the Intech in this way is you get slightly increased Intech and turbo noise. And who doesn't like that? Okay, so the final piece of hardware to talk about is the M-Tune that you get. Now, what you use this for is to load the software remap into your ECU. And it's a very simple process. Uh, press a couple of buttons and that's pretty much it. So the actual flashing of the ECU is, is very, very simple and easy to use. Now with this, which is a Cobb access port, um, or a, a, a Mountain branded modified Cobb access port. Um, they provide a little stand and everything for you, so you can mount it up on your dash if that's what you should so desire to do. And the reason why you would want to do that is that in here you can select and set up a screen full of gauges. Now, Initially, that sounds pretty cool um, because if you know anything about the Cobb Access port, you'll know that there's a, a very large list of gauges you can you can choose from. So when I got this, I was initially thinking, great, I'm going to set up a cool screen with all the gauges I want and have it up here. As you can see, I've even went to the bother of attaching the little stand to my dash. However, that's where the first big negative comes in uh, and, and that is, for some reason, I don't know why, Mountain decided in their wisdom that when they decided to modify the access port, they would remove the vast majority, in fact, of those gauges that um, come on the Cobb access port originally. So the ones that they leave you with are uh, okay, I guess. There's a rev counter, which is cool, I suppose. There's the shift light, which is which is fine. Um, but the others, mm, not so great. There's several different temperatures that you can watch, but really, most of the time you're not really gonna care about that unless you're specifically trying to monitor something or um, debug a particular piece of hardware that you've bolted on under the bonnet but most so, so most of the time whenever you're driving along it's not really that relevant there is one pressure readout which is not actually boost pressure it's mass airflow pressure which isn't the same so for that reason I have just been keeping this in its little Cobb branded pouch and keeping it in in the storage bin because it really it, I, I don't really have any use for it I keep it in here because um, if you happen to get a check engine light you can use this to find out more information you can find out what the issue is and clear any issues so that is kind of handy but it's only handy in certain situations it's not really something that I think is really relevant to have perched on your dash all the time 
So that is a slight negative that Mountain decided to reduce the functionality that would otherwise have been pretty cool. So let's go for a little drive. Okay, so let's talk about what really matters with the MP215 kit, and that's the power increase that you get. So the power increase on paper is increasing from about 197 brake horsepower on, on full boost at stock to 213 brake horsepower on full boost with the 215 kit. Of course, 215 is in reference to the um, power in PS, which works out at to about 213 brake horsepower. Torque increase, you're going from 290 newton meters of torque to 320 newton meters of torque, which is pretty sweet. So what does that mean in the real world? Well, some people would say, well, that's not a very, that's not a lot of power increase, you know, it's only like, what, 16 horsepower, it's not that much. But what you need to take into consideration with the Fiesta ST is its weight. The curb weight of the Fiesta ST is only a touch over a thousand kilograms. You compare that to the bigger big brother, the, the Focus, which weighs in a touch over or in the region of 1,500 kilograms. And so in terms of power to weight ratio, the Fiesta doesn't need as much of a power increase to feel this to, to feel the same level of oomph so whenever you think of it that way it actually is quite a significant boost of power so how does it feel when you're driving well first gear is still pretty much the same you don't really feel a whole lot of a difference in first gear I would still consider first gear in this car as a bit of a utility gear you know you only are using first gear to get off the line and no more you just get off the line and get out of it pretty quickly second gear similarly you do feel a bit of a difference in the second gear but second gear is still um, slightly boost limited so you don't get 100% of the boost in second gear but where you really feel it third gear Third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, third gear and up, you get 100% of your boost, and that's when you really feel the extra power of the 215 kit. You get a really noticeable push in your back as you just take off, and it really does just take off. And what I've noticed is that you can get up to pretty <laughs> very high speed without even touching fifth gear. Third and fourth gear are just so brilliant now. The upgrade that you get in third and in third gear up is is really quite good. And it's very very noticeable. So for so I, th I think it really puts to bed any any potential doubts that anyone would have over being able to feel the power increase. It is definitely there. You definitely feel it. Torque steer, whenever you're going for a big launch, torque steer is marginally increased, but it, it's really not very much. And just like before, you know, you can just correct it quite easily. And it's, not, it's not an issue at all. One complaint that some people have about the MP205 kit is the price, and it, it, it costs um, about 800 pounds UK which is a little bit pricey yes but if you consider a couple of things consider that one of the big rivals Revo their stage one software update is 400 quid 400 pounds and that doesn't include any hardware at all um, other than the little tuning chip that you plug in so you'd have to go then and buy some other third-party aftermarket intake which would still be it still wouldn't be quite as expensive as the, as the mountain but the mountain kit of course has the mega benefit of retaining your Ford warranty so if your car is within its warranty period you can do this no worries and that's class 
which you do not get with any other company. So you pay a little bit extra, but you get that bit extra. So let's just give this a wee blast. So I'll slow down here. First gear. I'm gonna first gear very quickly. I'll just second gear very quickly. And then third gear you I'll have so that they fly in. And I need to slow down because I'm running out of road. <laughs> it was pulling like crazy all the way up. And that's in third gear. So you can imagine you have all that extra oomph third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear. So if you're on a track or if you're on like the Autobahn in Germany, then <laughs> you're gonna have a great time. All right, so there it is guys, uh, the MP215. I think it's a very worthy kit to be buying. Because of the increased power, you definitely feel. Because you keep your warranty from Ford, if your car is still within warranty, and of course, all the parts that you get are of a high quality. A couple of small wee negatives, but the the, th where it's the things that are important are good. So I would say MP215 thumbs up. So if you like the video, guys, give it a thumbs up yourself. Give it a wee share, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And cheers! I'll see you later.